So Pinot Noir, cask whiskey. <laughs> You've gone. You've gone. I tried so hard. Funny. I tried so hard. I feel like the wine thing's the worst thing to. So Pinot Noir. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be saying it's one right. Pinot Noir. Hello, I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are whiskey geeks. Not whiskey snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe. subscribe. We are venturing slightly further afield today. Yes, we're going to the east. We are. Aren't we? Across Europe. Way oh, you got it. Well done. Thanks. We're going to Romania oh. today. Um, so we had a, a mystery Romanian visitor. Oh, that in. sounds like a mystery shopper. But well, much more exciting <laughs> like from the EU. Um, so he has left us some pretty cool samples. So first of all, we're not trying whiskey first. Okay. We're trying two whiskies second. But the first thing we've got to try is our Romanian fig spirit. Oh, Yours was cool. the front one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, a Romanian fig spirit. So this is made in the same way as whiskey, but just fig rather yeah. than grain. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. And not aged. Oh, that smells aged. weird. So fruity. It smells like fruity vinegar. So I'm worried too. Oh, sorry. you've sorry. <laughs> ruined it for me. It smells so juicy though. Oh, that really reminds me of something again. I've got a very memorable Ooh. nose today. It is like the kind of liqueur you would get at the end of a restaurant meal mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when you're out for dinner somewhere not in Scotland. It's a bit like a... It's Schnapsy. A, sm schnapps, but it's like that... Ricky, Ricky, what's oh, it called? Oh yeah, the Greeks, yeah. Ah, the Greek stuff downstairs. Um, I want to say a writer. That's not right at all. Mm, love writer. No, it's not that. Mm -hmm. Not Racky. Not Racky. 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 I was going to try and say Ricky. I know a dog called Ricky. Racky. Oh, Ricky's for. Mm. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Racky. That smells lovely. Um, so Ooh. I don't like figs. Figs are the ones that wasp die inside. Yeah, figs it? to me taste too dusty. Uh, they taste too concentrated and they're not juicy enough. I've never had a raw fig, but I enjoy a dried fig. The, they're too... Um, I don't like the texture, I think is what they're I mean. Bitty. They're I, bitty. It's a bitty texture, I think that's... Like, I don't like a fig roll or anything. No, I get mm, that, the fig rolls. It's a bitty yeah, texture yeah, yeah. that I'm not okay with. That smells so like vinegar to me. Oh no, I find it really juicy. I'm um, like juicy vinegar. Concentrated juice. Yeah, or like diluting juice or something like mm. undiluted diluting juice. Oh, it's more like it's quite grapey, oh. like a white grape juice. Yep, that tastes like concentrated white grapes to me. Tomato sauce again. Oh, a little bit. Oh, yeah. I guess that's a, a brown sauce a wee bit. I guess that's brown a vinegary sauce. bit coming in. Yep. That's I've weird. I've got it. Uh, hamburger relish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's got that's a very cool kind of smell. Mm. Hearty. Mm. I'm not sure. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's got a real black currenty bit to it. Really black currant, like tart mm. black currant. Oh, I think I like that, you know. It's quite harsh, I understand why you do. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I like my spirits harsh. You do. I like that, I think. It's like a spirity jam. Yes, yes, I would agree, Ooh. I would agree. Mmm. Mmm. Not sure mm. about that. It's quite fennelly. Quite mm. herby. Like mm. aniseed. I'm not getting that. You think? Mmm. It's so fruity afterwards. The finish is so jammy. Yeah, I do get that like a bit like wine at the end. It's not got the whiny ha to it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. It's it's all rounded and fruity. It's not got I've... that wine has like a Jabby. I'll think that when, I, when I'm drinking wine next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think the more I smell that, the more I taste it, the more I'm enjoying that. 
Oh, it's got a tiny chlorine bit as well, which I'm not opposed to. There's a lot of stuff going on. That's not mm. been in cast or anything, is no, it? No, not as far as I know. Just fix but it. very little information on this one, to be fair. Okay. Even on the bottle. Right. I don't think it even had a percentage. Really? In fact, I've got a photograph. We can put up the photo. Wow, I actually love the way that looks. Mm. The writing and everything looks cool. I can't even read that, can you? No. Muika. Is Muika? that a U or a... Is it a T Muvika? or a M? Muvika? T. Oh, it's a T. TV. I thought it was an M, I read that as an M. I do get that. No, Tweeka. 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 Den Smoochin. Desunita. Provost. Traditionals. Traditionalis. Mm -hmm. That's traditional something, eh? And a picture of some figs. And that's all, there was not, not a label on the back. That's very cool. That was a random man that gave you that. That's cool. Do you think we'll mm. turn into a fig now? I think so, probably. Mm -mm. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I, I don't know, like I mean, wasps though. No, me neither. <laughs> you kill a wasp. Oh, that, it's not our ethos, is it? No, I just need to let them eat me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's good though. I like that. You're not, not skiing. I don't mind that. I mm. think that's weird. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's weird. Um, curious. I'd say that's probably one of the best of the more obscure Eastern European spirits I've tasted. Fruit spirits. Mm. I would wonder how that would react in a cask. Oh to add my more God. fruit or something to yeah. it. Yeah. That'd be really interesting. Yeah, interesting yeah. I think see that in a white, see that in a Pinot Noir cask mm, mm -hmm. would make mm. it buttery and fruity. Oh yeah. Mm. Interesting. Such a peculiar smell as well. Interesting. So, well, speaking of Pinot Noir, actually, this next one we have is Thank you. a Romanian whiskey from the Carpathian Distillery. Cool. Um, matured in Romanian Pinot Noir casks. Wow, okay cool. So Romania have been making wine for some time, haven't they? They have, they're well known for their wine. Even though they're a new world technically, aren't they? Yeah, but there is a real kind of like boom at the moment. Mm. Uh, so it's always been there, but I think people have like recently just like discovered it and mm. with social media and stuff, people mm. are starting to like promote it a little bit more. So it's it's got a bit of a boom recently. And, um, but they're, um, the region that they're in is very similar to Bordeaux region in France. Right. In climate or in in climate and in like soil and things yep, like that. Yep, yep. So they're so making they wines that are similar. They similar say wines, to Bordeaux, which yeah. is quite a high. Oh, definitely. Cloud of the yeah. wine scale, obviously. So they're making Romanian Pinot Noir, which I would love to try. So is this Romanian whiskey? Yes. In Pinot Noir. Yep. Romanian Pinot Noir casks. Yeah. Cool. Okay, and it's single malt. Single malt. Yeah. So the distillery Ooh. have been around for a few years now. It smells a bit like feet. And they are kind of sticking to Scottish rules as well. Mm. And they've got Alan Anderson, who is he has thirty years experience in the Scotch and Irish whiskey industry. Okay. Distilling for them. Okay, so they've got an, a, a, a talented man who yes. knows his stuff. Yes. Who's helping. Okay, cool. Um, and so the, but the only difference is they are not in Scotland or Ireland. They're in their Carpathy, the Southern Carpathian Mountains. Okay. So the Carpathian Mountains span quite a lot of Europe. They're the third largest, uh, longest mountain range. Wow. In Europe, and Romania is in like, it, the the southern ones are in Romania. Right, right, right. So, the so lots of like cool scenery, mountains, good water. So similar to Scotland. Then, similar to Scotland. The, yeah. Okay, cool. Although probably more similar to places like New Zealand in the climate. Warmer. Slightly. So more seasons. Mm. So probably colder in the winter, warmer in the mm -hmm. summer. Okay, cool. Amazing. And they've been good for a few years now then. Yeah, so. yeah. Cool. So this is, I think, one of their first releases. And this is... That smells waxy and thick and buttery. Waxy and thick and buttery, and it's got a weird. There's something. Everything's got a wee smell of something I recognise, and I can't quite pinpoint mm. today. Sometimes that happens. It's got the plasticine note, and there's something about it that reminds me of primary school. Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be it. <laughs> Do you know what I think it might be? Romanians. <laughs> Slange. Slange. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 
Oh, it's thick and buttery, Ooh. oily, mm. oh. waxy, fruity. Tastes really nice. Mm. <laughs> I can taste the note there. Tastes really nice. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about you, but when I taste whiskey that's been in Pinot Noir casks, I always get buttery, mm -hmm. like a thick buttery mm -hmm. flavour. Mm -hmm. Like buttered toast mm -hmm. and brioche. I always feel it's like quite rich. Mm. But not in the fruity And not either. necessarily like a, yeah, not like a thick, rich, raisiny. Yeah, like a, like, like a the flavours are all quite light, but the texture is really rich. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, almost like an, like an olive buttery spread yeah, type, like thick and oily. Spreads are usually quite light in flavour, but they're mm -hmm. thick in mm -hmm. texture and oil. Mm. So that's not the only one. Oh. So the other one that we have Thank you. Um, is a Romanian grape variety wine that I need to pronounce. Ah, Fetras. Fetiasi Negra. Ah, I know it well. So this one is another uh, Romanian oh. wine cast. So they're both 46% unchill filtered. If you smell that one again, you really do get the buttery and the mm. pinot. Really, really. Yeah, so that one's a little bit more marmalady orangey. Yeah, more less thick. Quite vanilla though. I get really like thick cream. Oh my thumb just. I heard it. Did you hear it? Because I gripped that glass like oh. that. <laughs> yeah, the buttery so buttery. much on the Pinot Noir. I think the Pinot Noir is gonna be my favourite. That one is bready as well and marmalady. Yep, and a uh, like brown bread toasted, like a thin slice of brown bread toasted. Lighter again. Mmm. But not ethery. Like fluffy. Nice. Solid, but light. See, I said fluffy and you just said solid. I mm, feel like no, it's... No, 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 I don't feel fluffy. I feel solid, but light. Like a thin slice of brown bread. <laughs> That's so specific. I understand. I'm following you all the way. Like, whatever is the next level up from synesthesia. <laughs> I feel like a thin slice of bread. I mean, I often feel like a thin slice of brown bread. I usually feel like an underbaked slice of white. <laughs> a globby sourdough undercooked. A globby <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, if you if you were a bread, what bread would you be? <laughs> I don't know. I think it'd be a French stick. You'd really want to be a thin <laughs> slice of brown bread, wouldn't you? That would be the worst person in the world. Well, she's a thin slice of brown bread. Don't That's have her over. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that might be me. <laughs> oh no, I don't think you're a thin slice of brown bread. Could it be a French a French stick, a French baton? No, I think you could be a French baton, like a th like a like a like a bread stick or like a, a oh no, like a, a like a like a baguette, a baguette, a baguette. Ah, I think you could be a baguette. You could be a baguette. Yeah. Sometimes I'm, You're I'm quite... just a line. Oh. I'm just a line. Fuck off. Get me. <laughs> You'll go with most things. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go with most things. Good with just butter. Good with just butter. Mm. Oh no, that's oh. like beans on toast. More that's that gotten a bit more savoury now. Yeah. That is so sweet. Slange. Slange. Bread bed. <laughs> Toasted. Toasted mind. Toasted. With butter. With butter. With butter. Always with butter. Fancy butter. Mm, no, it? an olive spread. A cheapo <laughs> olive spread. <laughs> Orange blossom again. It's lighter this Very one. Very floral. There is a wee tiny waxy note quite far in there. Um, hmm. I have to say, I feel like there's a lot less to say about this one than there is about the Pinot Noir. Yes, it's less interesting. It's nice. It tastes like nice sherry whiskey. Yes. And if you gave me that and said, that's a Scotch whiskey, I wouldn't be like, no, it's not. Mm. I'd be like, mm. Mm, that's delicious. Which one gets your vote then? I like the buttery Pinot Noir. I like the buttery Pinot difference. Noir. Yep. I have to say, I thought you were going to like the other one. I, I could drink more of the other one more easily. Mm, it's mm, more, like, not mm. mindless, but it's not, like, mm -hmm. that's quite, like, there's lots going mm -hmm. on in that one. You feel like you want to sit I feel in. like that would suit more palates. There's one, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Pinot Noir, I think, is maybe a little bit more individual, oh. a little bit more unique. It's got a lovely creamy, yeasty bit. Mm, but mm -hmm. creamy and yeasty together, you'd think. Ooh. Curdled. 
Yeah, you think, oh, that's but nasty, no, it's... but it's like bready and oh, creamy. Yeah. Like milk bread. Yes, that's the thing. Yeah, that's mm. a Japanese thing. It is, I've never, never tried had it. it. No. <laughs> but I imagine that's what it's like. Yet it's our tasting note today. Milk bread. Well, brioche, I guess, would be. Brioche buns. On the same lines, yep. What's that from, brioche buns? It's a thing, it's a bread. I think that's another meme, though, brioche is buns. Is it? I don't know that. I won't. You know the memes. I don't know. Brioche buns. Well, thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe down here for more like this and join us again next time. Slange! Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange! <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying I, so I shouldn't have led in with so. Peter, Peter Noir! Noir. <laughs> And got so far. In the All the end. Pinot Noir fits in with that as well. It doesn't even matter. <laughs>